this the fastest old fashioned on YouTube? Pre batch cocktails are a great way to save time if you're hosting a party or working at an event. Today, I'll show you how to make a pre batched old fashioned. But this is cocktail time, so I'll also show you how to quickly turn it into a craft cocktail. This will be an improved version of the stout fashion, an old fashioned with a beer foam from the gourmet vip that allows you to make it in advance and serve it fast and easy. And so you don't waste time with peeling oranges, expressing the oils and trimming the peels. Spray of homemade orange perfume. So if you're ready to blow your guests away and still have time to hang out with them, it's cocktail time. It's been almost two years since I started posting cocktail videos to social media. Shortly after that, cocktail time was started and one of the first videos we made was the beer cocktail episode. One was a beer americano with an Italian lager. And the second was a stout fashion, an old fashioned topped with Guinness foam. I wanted to improve the second cocktail with a more stable and balanced foam. In the process, I'll show you some cool tricks to up your cocktail game. For starters, how you can easily pre batch a cocktail, like the old fashioned. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, so let's use Irish whiskey. I use Jameson Caskmates Stout Edition in the original. For this one, I'll use Jameson Black Barrel. For less math, I'll add ingredients as if I'm making 10 cocktails. So into a large bowl, pour 600 ml or 20 ounces of whiskey. I usually add a bar spoon of rich demerara syrup for a single cocktail. I measure that to be 5 ml. So for this big batch, I'll add 50 ml or 1 and 2 thirds of an ounce. This is 2 parts sugar to 1 part water, but wait. Next, add Angostura bitters. I add 4 dashes into a single old fashioned, using a Japanese style dasher bottle. That gives smaller but more controllable dashes than the classic Angostura bottle, which will produce significantly different sized dashes. If you're using a typical Angostura bottle, you could add 20 to 30 dashes, depending on how full your bottle is. If you'll take off the dasher top, measure out 12 ml or a little under half an ounce. You can of course add a combination of Angostura and orange bitters, however you like your old fashioned. And I like to add a drop or two of saline solution to most of my cocktails to enhance the flavors. So here I'll add 12 drops. This is simply 20 grams of salt dissolved in 80 grams of water. This is now basically 10 old fashions, ready to be stirred with ice and served. So you could bottle it like this and chill over ice when you serve. But we want this to be cold and ready to drink as you pour it from the bottle with the right amount of dilution. So add 30% of the total amount of the cocktail. This amount of water would otherwise come from the melting ice as we start to chill. For this recipe, that equals 200 ml or 6 and 3 quarters of an ounce. Stir to mix and this is ready to be bottled. If you use typical 700 ml liquor bottles, you'll need to pour some in an extra bottle. Keep that for the rainy days. If you need this to be cold as fast as possible, place it in the freezer. But if you leave it in there for too long, it might freeze because of the added water, so keep that in mind. And if you only wanted to make a delicious bottled cocktail, that's it. But you just saved yourself a ton of time for when you'll be serving the cocktail. So why not make a little extra effort to give it more complexity and that craft look. Let's make the improved beer foam and a simple orange perfume. I made the foam in the original episode by simply frothing up a stout beer. It was good, but not really all that stable. It tasted only of beer, like you'd expect. So for this improved version, I'll add scent and gum for stability and maple syrup and saline solution to round out the flavors. The foam will be made with an ISI gourmet whip and nitrous oxide. This is a really helpful tool for foams, rapid infusions and carbonizations. But first I'll blend all the ingredients to really get them nice and mixed, especially xanthan. Start with 220 ml or 7.5 ounces of stout beer. We don't need an additional emulsifier to create a foam since beer already has some protein and a high carb content. A starch is one of its primary ingredients. But we'll add a stabilizer, xanthan gum. 0.5 gram will be enough to make sure the foam doesn't mix in with the rest of the cocktail too fast. Next, 10 grams of maple syrup. That equals 7.5 ml or a quarter of an ounce if you use a jigger. That will give the foam a pleasantly subtle sweetness. Lastly, 4 drops of saline solution. If you don't have it in a liquid form, just add a pinch of salt. Then blend everything so it's really well incorporated before you pour it into the cream whipper. If yours is bigger, you can double the amounts. We used a similar technique for the inverted white Russian.
charge the Queen Reaper with the nitrous cartridge and give it a good shake. With that, the foam is ready, but this needs to be chilled for at least an hour. So place it in the fridge and let's make the orange perfume. Making it is super simple, like with the Tonka Mist in the Punch episode. I'll combine vodka and food grade essential oil. 30 ml or 1 oz of vodka and 6 drops of organic orange essential oil. Stir to combine, then transfer to a spray bottle. That's it. Now imagine you're at an event or a party. You've got your pre-batch old fashioned and the beer foam nice and chilled. There's no need to peel any oranges for the garnish. This is how fast you can make an amazing old fashioned. Grab an old fashioned glass with clear ice. While clear ice is becoming a standard, it will still impress most of the guests. If you've got smaller cubes, that's fine too. Then pour over around 100 ml or 3.5 ounces of pre bashed old fashioned. Whiskey, sugar, bitters, water. It's all in there. Then the showstopper beer foam from the Creamy Whipper. It looks good and it will elevate the whole cocktail. Layer it on top, then spray orange mist. Beauty! You can do that in under 60 seconds. Then it's time to enjoy it. Cheers! I love the sweet orange and hoppy notes you get before the first sip. The foam has a rich texture and beautifully balanced notes of chocolate and coffee from the beer with a gentle sweetness. And the old-fashioned beautifully takes over from that intro. Black Barrel is a great choice for this cocktail. And you'll be happy you have more of these ready to be served any minute. Before we wrap up this party, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever pre-batched any cocktails? Will you try it now? You could even try a sour with a super juice technique. And what other combinations of spirit and beer do you think would work great for this cocktail? Thanks for joining me for Cocktail Time. I'll see you next week. Cheers!